guys welcome back to my channel my name is Janine today we're going to be getting a little scary with this eye look um, it's like really smoked out black um, I haven't done one of these looks in forever if you're into it just keep watching I hope you would subscribe and like my video of course only if you like it but I'm sure you should like it so uh, let's get into it Okay, so obviously I did one eye already, looking crazy. Um, the only palette I'm going to be using is the Jaclyn Hill one. <sighs> Basically because I don't feel like looking through all my palettes and trying to find all these different browns. So, this is actually really nice for autumn. I just noticed that. Okay, anyway. Oh, I also have my little color switch thing. I actually love using this. I don't know if it does anything, but whatever. I'm going to be taking a transition shade, packing that on, and putting it above my crease. I think it got something in my eye. So, yeah, keep blending that. I don't know why I've been so anxious lately. Um... Um, I've been so anxious to make like a video like oh my god it's not going to be good enough or whatever but I guess I just got to keep pushing through so that seems about right okay so now I'm going to take I'm going to take this like um it's like a dome brush but it's a tiny bit fluffy and I'm just going to wipe off any extra product I had and I'm going to be taking this like really dark um, chocolate brown shade and I'm just putting that on my crease and I'm just like uh, stamping it at first. I hate the feeling when you do that and your eyes like moving. It's so annoying. I hate it. So I'm taking this quite far in. I'm going to start to blend it a little bit. But I'm just mainly using this brush to get the product on my eyeball. So, the date I'm filming this is the 20th. I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush and blending it out. So, the date I'm filming it is the 20th and the 23rd is my birthday and I'm really not excited. I'm just going to say I'm 21 because I think that was like the most fun, reckless, stupid year but so fun of my life. So now that we got that blended i'm going to be going back in with the same brush and the same shadow and just going to darken it up but yeah since the whole corona shit um i'm just having a barbecue on the 22nd like at my house just with like family and stuff and then for the 23rd that's on a sunday i gotta find well my husband has to find like a place that you know it's cute but you know still like more formal you know there's a lot of places in jersey city like that that we've been going to by the way i'm from new jersey and jersey city is just like there's like a really bad side but then the good side's like gorgeous you see the uh what's that called like the skyline of new york it's just really pretty Okay, so I'm going to go back and blend it. But I want to go something like that. I wonder if Ruth Chris has um, outdoor dining because their steak is like out of this world. Duh. Like, it's so fucking good. So wherever you live, if there's a Ruth Chris, please hit it up. Like, seriously. Going back in with the other shade and brush. And I just keep hacking it and move it a little tiny up. Mm, yeah. I just got my nails done. 
do you like them i don't know i never did like this like half french thing so i don't know i'm kind of like do i like it or do i love it or do like i hate it okay so i'm just gonna intensify that a little more and i don't know what to buy for my birthday like no one surprises me with gifts like, it's always like here janine here's ten dollars here janine here's two hundred dollars like i want gifts if i just wanted money i could just go to the fucking atm and get my get me myself some money like does anyone else have that problem especially with my husband oh my god he's terrible at getting gifts for me and i'm gonna bring the shade a little higher just because i'm feeling a little feisty and you could start bringing it towards the inner corner i used to do looks like this all the time when i was like 16. i don't know if you guys like what was that like fucking Oh my god i can't do math 16 like 2000 and like 12 i want to say i used to do really dark eyeshadow and like i don't know if you guys remember these like these like it looked like lipstick but it was concealer and um it was concealer <laughs> and it was so bad thinking about it that you would use it like as lipstick and on TikTok, I've been seeing these, like, um, these girls from, like, England or whatever, the UK. And they're going, like, chop check. And it's, like, super thick eyebrows, super fucking light lips. And it's, like, oh, my God. Is that what a chop was called? Like, did I just not know my name back then? Like, I don't know what the fuck a chop means. But, yeah blending so now i'm going to go in with a um what what do you call these not like a liquid eyeliner you guys brain cells are just getting lost by the second i don't know it's called black ink from pretty vulgar i don't like um i guess you call it cream eyeshot uh cream eyeliners i don't at all so i'm just gonna be taking a tiny little brush and getting some of that color on and I'm gonna be packing it on the lid I start off in the outer lid and go right over that shadow I need some more so I'm going just right over that shadow and I don't like how this tugs on my eye because I'm pretty I'm pretty nervous that you know getting wrinkles or whatever oh my god with me getting wrinkles or whatever but you know i got some botox is for oh maybe that's what i could tell my husband to get me some botox and lip filler good idea jenny good idea so i'm not gonna put this all the way in the inner corner yet because i don't want it to dry on me but make sure you get really really close to that lash line so yeah so i'm gonna be taking like a more of a pencil -y brush and i'm just i like to pull it up just because it's so thick the um the liner is like so thick and then like i feel like it skips a little bit okay so now i'm gonna go back in with the dark brown again if i could oh yeah so i'm just gonna kind of like put that over it oh so i went to ulta the other day because i needed to return something it was those fucking fox stands i don't know if you watched that video and um i i was looking for neon palettes because like i literally don't have any neon palettes so i was looking i couldn't find anything so i picked up this alexis stone palette she's like that i don't know her pronoun pronoun but she um is amazing like she morphs her fucking face like like nobody's business like she could be a fucking like stunt double that's how good she is 
So I'm just going to blend this out a bit. So anyway, I picked up her palette. And the thing I didn't like with the Ulta, like, they had the test makeup out, but it was all, like, covered, like, with plastic. And, like, I totally get it, but, like, I don't know. That's, like, one thing that I love about going to Sephora or Ulta because you, you could, you know, get a gist of how the product is. So anyways, I went there, I didn't find really a lot of good palettes that I wanted. I feel like every fucking palette is the same. Like, I'm kind of getting really over, over these palettes. Like, you know what, maybe I'll try, because I had this, like, when I was, like, 18, is one of those, what is it called? BH palettes. And that shit had, like, every color under the sun. Oh, no. So maybe I'll try that. Gonna go in with a little packer brush and get some black chateau. Sorry. So maybe I will pick one of those up, like order on Amazon or something. And I really want to start doing like creative stuff. Like when I was younger, I did like all this wild, weird makeup when I was in cosmetology school that I dropped out of. It just, it wasn't a good time for me, like, personally. And then also, I hated the fuck at school. They didn't teach you dick. You could have learned everything on YouTube. So, just blending is out. Until we look like a little raccoon. The raccoons are cute, right? I'm not too high up over here, so I'm not going to go high up here. Oh, also, I've been going to Dollar Tree lately because one of my aunts, she's, like, um, trying to get, like, this wreath business started with, like, arrangements and stuff. So, I'm going to help her with that. And, um, I've been going to Dollar Tree lately. So, hold on. So, I've been going to Dollar Tree lately. And I've just been picking up, like, you know, random stuff I need, like, q-tips or like something like that but i've also been getting um a lot of like fall decor and then also like more halloween stuff and i fucking love halloween halloween and christmas Chris it's halloween no christmas halloween and easter that's my favorite to decorate so i'm sure you guys see that my um my room is like more white and silver and you know so I wanted to do um like a scary theme in my room and then in my bathroom which I will do a um I do a bathroom tour if you guys want um I do it after I decorate or before and then after if you guys want to see that let me know but yeah, so I've been getting a lot of like fall stuff, you know, basically like, you know, type time of the season type of stuff. So I really want to do a video with that. I'm just going to pack on some more of the black. So you, you guys just like literally what you want to see, just, just let, let me know. And I have no idea what kind of fucking eyeshadow I'm going to do for the barbecue. What I got was, I've been really into Shein lately. And, um, it's so freaking affordable. It's like insane. Do I have it with me? Hold on. I don't know. I had this like really, really cute cheetah print mask. It's so cute. For two dollars and fifty cents. Like what? Where do you get that? Where do you get that? So I got a couple options for my birthday. I'm either going I I got this orange bikini and then I got this like white crochet cover up. So I'm gonna wear that. Or I got this um how do you say? It's like a cheetah print bikini, but it has like straps going across. It's super pretty. But I think I'm going to use the orange one because 
I got my toes done and I got them orange. Okay, so I did a wing liner on this side and I honestly wish I didn't do it because I'm not loving it. But you know, we gotta do it on that side. Why did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I need to start doing my eyes at the same time because I feel like they come out different. So I want to get a neon palette and stuff, <coughs> and I want to start doing like, I've never done like the whole gory makeup look, but I think it looks so fun. So maybe I'll start like practicing now, and I'm just going to take my, I'm like all over the place, I'm sorry. This is my favorite uh, liner, it's the NYX Vinyl. I'm going to have to clean that up, but no biggie. So maybe if I start um, practicing now, hold on, I can't really talk. Okay, so maybe if I practice now, by Halloween time, I could do some cool videos for you guys. Even if you're not interested, I'm still going to do it. Oh my god, I got my nose. I got a makeup wipe, you guys. Okay, I'll clean that up a little bit later. Okay, so for lashes, I actually kept the box. This is what they look like. Um, they're super fluffy and the band's pretty thin, so I love that. I got these at the beauty supply store. They're by the what is it the brand is i envy and then xoxo little mama that's that lip gloss bitch right so for four dollars four dollars so oh fuck i gotta get a scissor and cut them i just got the rest of my stuff like the foundation or whatever i'll just you know maybe speed through it i don't know but um i'm going to be taking this little pencil brush and blending it in the inner corner but i don't want to take it too far down because i do want to put a shimmer or like a pop of a color i'm not sure what but i got my handy dandy makeup wipes really sorry guys i hope the uh basically my sd card ran out of bad memory so I had to switch it up so I don't know if the camera is exactly where it was before but I was talking about this NYX bronzer matte bronzer and deep tan this was from my Ulta haul gives me such a fucking hard time to open it looks like this so I just get a decent amount and I bring some life back into my face So I have to tan again, like I tanned the other day, but I'm going to be like extra tan for my birthday or whatever. Sorry, I'm chewing gum. And um, I usually use loving tan, right? But I tried, um, I have tried Bondi Sands out in the past, but then I tried that, I'm not even going to contour my nose, I'm just going to put some bronzer on that shit i tried their arrow whatever like the aerosol can and it was not dark whatsoever so then i was kind of turned off by bondi sands but then i had to fucking get a tanner and i'm like okay walgreens right there i'm gonna get a tanner oh. i'm gonna get a tanner so i got the regular one and then i also got the dry oil one which i really like that one it doesn't give the most amazing color, but you don't have to like shower it off. It barely transfers. But um, yeah, but lately I've been using the Bondi Sands one, and sometimes I'll kind of mix it in. Pardon, I'll mix it in. Fuck, I'll mix it in with the loving tan, and it kind of creates like a really nice. Because, like, my skin's really pink, so I can't really use a green tanner. Because then I will literally look green. 
So I'm just putting some mascara. And you could smoke this out more if you want to. But I'm not. I feel like I have to do a lot of editing in this video or I'm not going to edit at all. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to do my lips. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this bitch up. And I don't understand what the hell the big deal is with makeup remover wipes. Like, what about a baby? Like, you don't just clean a baby's ass with some fucking toilet paper, you use a wipe. You know, if you're going to clean your own ass, you use a wipe. So, what the fuck is the difference? I really don't know. I'm not going to clean my whole face just in case. I love these though. And maybe this is all, you know, whatever. Okay, now we're going to... Did I bring the fucking... Oh, yeah. I brought my scissors. My little stork scissors. So, let me see where's all. I'm just gonna grab, um, you know, a tweez. And I never measure, to be honest. I just, I just don't. Fucking fuck. It's like ripping out. I hope this video is not too long. Oh my god! Okay. Got him. Okay, so I'm just going to be trimming. Let's see. Not too much. Not too much. Oh my god, it's stuck to my nail. I don't care if this video is kind of long. Because I kind of just wanted to talk. That should be good. So what I'm going to do is lay this little lash on my face. So, I'm going to do that right now. And I always use this fucking hair bonding glue. I've been using it literally like nine years. It dries so fucking fast in like a good way. Like you still have a, you still have a good amount of time to like pop it on. But you don't have to wait like two hours for it to like stay on. Or for it to get on it. I don't know. I'm sorry if you can't see this, but I always gotta be silent when I do that. I don't hold my fuck. I don't hold my breath like I've heard other people do. But a bitch can't speak. 
I literally was about to say something else and I totes forgot. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, I'll do my foundation really quickly. I'll just speed through it. Right now I'm gonna use the Dewy and Smooth the, by Maybelline. Let me make sure there's nothing on this. This needs to be a little more blended on the side. And do you guys do this? Like, I'll put my lashes and everything on my, um, my eyes or whatever. And then what I'll do is I will, like, keep blending it or adding, um, you know, depending on what I need. And I need to stop fucking use. Oh my god, you see the chaff, girl. Um, I need to stop using this brush. But I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm trying to do this, like, pretty quickly, guys. Oh, it's good. I didn't even bring a powder. I'm so unprepared all the fucking time. Like, I'll have so much stuff in my my bag but when I need it where's my bag you know where is it sorry if I'm like talking like so much okay so like I did in my drugstore thing my foundation I do take the beauty blender and I just get off any extra product just because you don't want to have like all that like, you know, cakiness. And I need to do a, um, I want to do a nighttime skin routine. Maybe I will do it tonight since this makeup is pretty heavy. And you can see how I remove it. I literally look crazy. Um, you can see how I remove it all. So yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna go in. Uh, I'm gonna go in a concealer. I still fucking use this concealer. It's like dying on me. And I bought another one, but I, I just don't want to use this one. It's the Makeup Revolution one in C4. I like it. Sorry. And I don't know why I barely ever, ever highlight my forehead. Okay, so with this, be very careful not to be picking up um, black eyeshadow because that is going to be a mess and a nightmare. And no one wants messes and no one wants nightmares. So, I don't have one. And I just got this loose powder by Too Faced. I forgot to grab it, so I'm just going to grab it real quick. And just put a shit ton under my eyes. And my T-zones just so I don't, you know, fuck shit up. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to use a cream bronzer today. I'm just going to. Because this look isn't natural, so cream bronzer, you know, that doesn't have to be natural. Okay, so I'm going to be right back once again. And I'll try to remember all my belongings.
Okay, I'm back. So I got the translucent powder. I never even opened it before. Two things going this way. I wish, right? Let's open this a bit up. The Too Faced packaging. Let's see what it looks like. Got one of these little lid doohickeys. Oh, it's so cute. It's a heart. Do you, you guys don't even need to see that. I don't know why. So I guess I'm just going to pop some. What's popping? I'm going to pop some in the lid. And then I'm just going to grab a little brush and really pack this on. Very, it's very finely milled, but it's like going all over the place. Like my shirt's all fucked. I'm just going to put something in the little, in the little corner. I meant to say, I do my whole nose. And around here. Okay, I still got a lot of powder. I'm just going to dump it back. I hate wasting products. Okay, so I'll put that guy back where it belongs a little later. Okay, so now since I since I don't want to look like a zombie anymore, I'm going to be doing my lower lash. My, yeah, my lower lash line. So I'm not picking up any product at all. I'm actually going to wipe some off. And I'm going to take that brush that we used with the black and like... Literally, just go right on your waterline. Sorry if you guys can't see, but literally right on the waterline. Okay, now I'm going to take, don't tell me I fucking forgot it. Oh, I'm going to take, I just got this from Ulta. It's LA Girls Ultimate Eye. I'm just going to put that on my waterline as well. I never, ever really do um, eyeliner. I don't know why. I think it's like maybe I'm too lazy for it. I don't know. And it's put some up there. You see up there, over there, over there. Okay, so do I want a little pop? I literally look so gothic right now. I need to do my lips. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush off any other thing. I'm gonna bronze real quick so I don't look like a vampire. I'm going to be taking this little Sephora bronze.
you guys so here's the finish look the only thing i did was add uh what the fuck what add? this highlighter it's from steve laurent i have no idea where i got this from in cotton candy and then all i did was i used the lip liner tawny favorite drugstore lip liner of all times um i didn't even put anything in the middle so you guys i hope you like the look um thank you so much for watching and i hope you like it and give it a like and subscribe if you're a good nice person that's all i have to say right now so i'll see you in the next video